Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this 3D chess piece using Adobe Illustrator 2020. So we're going to go ahead here and create a new uh, file. So we're going to go ahead and go to file and create a new document. So now that we created it, we're going to go ahead and place our item that we're going to be copying on. So in here, I downloaded a chess uh, piece that is wooden that is we're going to use as our template as we draw uh, the chess piece that we're going to create in 3D. So here it is, I'm going to import it and place it into Adobe Illustrator. So now that we have it in here, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and select uh, uh, pen tool, but first let me create a layer. Let me create a layer so I can draw on a different layer uh, that is not the item that I just placed. So I'm going to name this layer drawing. So the first layer, layer one, has the object, and the layer two is going to have the drawing now. So I'm going to go ahead with my pen tool. Uh, this should be simple. To know this, we need half of this uh, object in order for us to create um, a 3D piece. So we're going to go ahead and create half of this uh, with the line tool uh, using the uh, pen tool. And after that, I'm going to show you the effects that you're supposed to include on it in order for you to make it 3D. So rule of thumb there, what you're supposed to be doing when you're using the pen tool, don't have the fill on yet. So you're going to go ahead and just draw with the uh, stroke tool, but without having the fill on. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this through here, and then I'll show you where we're going to be going afterwards. So Adobe Illustrator comes with this 3D effect um, that you can just use to make any of your drawings in Illustrator 3D. And I don't know if you guys know how to use it, and this is the gist of this video. So you can see now I'm going around my object, trying to get the outline of it using the pen tool. And this doesn't need to be perfect. And if you've been practicing with the pen tool, it should be really easy for you to go around this object. But the thing is, we're now going to go around the entire object because we just need half of it. And I'm going to show you a little trick that you can know that you have, uh, you've had uh, half of the object that you're trying to go around. So let's go ahead and get all these curves uh, as close to uh, they are as possible so you can manipulate this. And this is literally drawing with a pen tool which is supposed to be uh, really easy if you keep practicing with it. So we're going to go ahead and go around this. And it's so easy in this video also I'm going to teach you how to find the perfect color that you want for your objects in Illustrator. So let's first go ahead and go over here. I think this is going to be our last point. So we, now this is how you know you have half of it. You see when I come close to this, it draws a line right through uh, the object to show me that I have half of it. And then I can go up here and connect it to this point up here and we're done. So we don't need the object anymore. All we need is uh, the outline that I just made. And I can try to tweak it uh, for as much as I want. It doesn't have to be perfect anyways, but it will show up really good. So I can turn off the visibility for this one. And now, one other thing that is very important here is that you don't need the line anymore. So you can toggle this and have the fill on instead of the line. So the line, I mean the outline, the stroke is off and we have just the fill and you can see this is perfectly half so it's really good this is what we need so using the selection tool i'm going to select it and i'll go to effect and now we're going to apply the 3d revolve so you can see how it looks uh, here now when it comes to these ones i figured out uh, the perfect uh, numbers and if you can just copy these numbers the way i'm entering them in here you have the best so on the top one you're going to put negative 1 degrees. On the second one that is supposed to go around the Y, you're going to put negative 3. And you're going to put negative 1 on this last one. Uh, it will center it and make it stand at eye level. So perspective, you're going to have 0%, no perspective. And the revolve effect, we're going to have 360 because we want it to go all around. So 
For this option, turn cap on for solid appearance. Choose the most right option, turn cap off uh, for hollow uh, appearance. So we can have it kind of hollow. So the offset, you're gonna have uh, uh, zero and you're gonna come here. Now this is the magic. You're gonna go here and you're going to select right edge. And there you are. You're already starting to see us have a 3D uh, chess piece already. That is a vector creation. So we're gonna go ahead and tweak the shading now. So we're gonna go ahead. Here you can choose wireframe. Uh, you can choose no shading where it's just blank. You can choose diffuse shading, but we're going to use plastic shading. So when you choose plastic shading, I also found numbers that are really good here that you can adjust. Uh, when you move this highlight, it helps to show where the highlights are or where you want them. But I found numbers that really work well. So on the light intensity, we're going to go ahead and reduce it from 100 to about 72%. So 72% is a good intensity now we're going to have. It doesn't look really good right now, but I'll show you another trick to make it come out really good. So the ambient light, you want to have it low on about 11, 10 or 11%. We're going to keep it on 11%. And the highlight intensity, so this is where we're going to go all out. All right. So highlight intensity, we're going to have it on... Uh, uh 60 percent and highlight size is going to be a hundred percent we want the entire highlight to show up so blend options is where the highlight meets the color of the um um of the chest piece itself this one you want it really high so we're going to put it on around 136 and this is important it shows here black but actually what you want to do you want to choose custom and instead of choosing any color, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, choose black. So it was showing there black first, but watch when we put it all the way on the side here and choose black. It looks a lot different and this is starting to look really, really beautiful. So our work is done in here. We're going to go ahead and press OK so we can save the changes on that. And now you can see our chest piece looks really awesome in black. So we're going to go ahead now and apply uh, color to this one because we don't want it to look black. This looks a little pointy, so I'm going to try to push it down a little bit and see how it works. Uh, you know what? I think it's really good. I'll just not play around with it. I'll just leave it at that. But what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and recolor this artwork. So when you choose, you can choose any type of colors that you want to get a perfect color here uh, we're going to go ahead and select uh, this entire artwork and we're going to enter a cmyk value uh, of bronze in order for it to look bronze so i looked up the cmyk uh, value for bronze and it's supposed to be um, zero percent of cyan and we're going to go to magenta. So cyan is supposed to be 0%. Uh, magenta is supposed to be 38, 38%. And this is a standard color that they use in print. So we're going to put on magenta is going to be 38%. And we're going to go to yellow. Uh, it's going to be 76%. These numbers are available on the internet. You can find them easily. So black, which is K is going to be 20 percent and after that you can just click on uh, OK and the color will apply so this is a color of bronze and you can see now we're gonna have a bronze uh, chest piece and that looks really nice now All right so what we're gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna show you another thing that is really uh, bugging if you're working with 3D in Illustrator, especially if it's your first time to work in 3D in Illustrator, because when you select this object, you can uh, scale it down if you want. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can scale this artwork down proportionately. Uh, you can move it. You can select it and move it. But the thing where you're going to start having a lot of problems, you cannot select this and rotate it 
you cannot rotate this uh, 3D artwork just with the tra free transformation tool. Say if you select it like this and you rotate it, look what we're going to jump into. It, because it's mathematically calculated, it will calculate all these points and send them where they're supposed to be going in a 3D world. And it will disfigure your artwork. So to show you how to rotate this in a right way, I'm going to go ahead and select this and copy it and create another one of uh, the same exact artwork uh, uh, right here. So I'm going to place it, uh, I'm going to paste it in place and I'm going to move it on the side a little bit. So now we have two pieces. So I'm going to use this piece that I just uh, uh, copied and I'm going to apply the 3D effect and I'll say rotate and I'll say apply new effect now because now I want the new effect to be the rotating effect and you can see it takes time to really calculate and see where all the points are and to really uh, rotate them in a, a manner that is really fitting so you can see it gives us this dialog box and it can rotate on three um, it can rotate on three angles here from three angles but what you want to do here in order for you to uh, speed it up a little bit, you can just turn off the preview and you can enter these figures in here in order for you to have it rotated all the way like right here. So this is beautifully rotated now. This is how you can rotate it. Now we're going to make a little composition that looks a lot more appealing. So we're going to go ahead and move this, I think. I think I should move this to the left maybe. Let me see. I'm just now I'm just trying to create a beautiful composition of these two pieces. So I think yeah, I think that's better. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this on the left a little bit. And I'm gonna make it come uh, forward. So I want the one that is behind now, the one that is standing to be in front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go to object, arrange, bring bring to front and now it's in front of the uh, one that is laying down so this is a beautiful composition what I'm gonna do probably I'm gonna scale this one down a little bit just to emphasize the perspective to show that it's behind the overlapping principle here shows that it's behind already but scaling it down a little bit so it's perspectively smaller makes sure that it's in the back and this is a beautiful composition now and that's how you create objects in 3D, guys. And uh, in Illustrator, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you really, you really like this video. You can leave me a big thumbs up and also a comment in the comment section below. Bye-bye for now.